Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and this is Diaries of Death. Uh, we are still following our boss Mar Archer, Geoffrey de Loire, uh, who has got a nice little armor upgrade with the ancient uh, shroud that we've got from Hex End the last time. He looks fly, fly as F and uh, definitely could take on a few more challenges we're good on the poison good on the disease and uh, moderate magical resistance and good armor so <clears throat> overall we're definitely nearing more the mid game but i figured uh, why not get uh, the uh, ill met by moonlight savior's hide which is the easiest of the uh, or one of the easiest of the data requests and it will give us some more magic resistance uh, which we will need in order to get a better short bow that's next on uh, the uh, line before we're then hopefully generally speaking finishing up uh, the uh, tier one quest for him which would be saving the tree in white run so I spent some time with the good old guys here in um, in and around uh, Helms uh, High Hot Rodka, of course, not Helms something High Rodka. The Greybeards taught me an increased version of the Thum, and as you can see, we upgraded Unrelenting Force to number two. I deducted two thousand five hundred from our gold pool, and so we are quite. Uh, well leveled so far but in order to get uh, the height we will need to go to Falgreef so next stop Falgreef so we find ourselves in the middle of Falgreef more precisely in Falgreef's uh, jail where hey come over here Graveyards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Yeah, no, I was there. Don't worry. Uh, tell me how I get uh, Singrith here. Good. We need to start the quest properly. Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. How did she die? She was. He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Who did this? Sinding. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? Ill met by moonlight, my friend. So, that is how it all starts. Back to Mr. Sending. Who now all of a sudden looks much more willing to move into our direction. I need to ask you to stop. Yep, Good. won't happen again. Afternoon. Need something? Uh, yeah, I was about to talk to you, dude. Oof. Ooh, I think the guard is going to become angry. But I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just All right. went away. Not the... Until next time. 
not the straight way of doing it, but yeah, I needed to effectively summon him to us. He just didn't want to move at all, even after multiple attempts. Anyways, we now got... Uh, I was under the impression we made progress and he even got us the ring. Well, there we go. Now he finally could make his escape. Which means now we're off to kill the White Stack, which is our next stop. Kill the Great Beast. And Cindy will, ascend, uh, will eventually be running away. But we will take care of him a bit later. Good, we want to go and hunt uh, the white stag. In order to do that, we need this here. And a little bit of this. And what's we're at it, a bit of this. Yeah, we don't have enough damage for a Spriggan. Luckily, we can finally run away relatively quick, uh, quickly. Don't need to deal with it. Cool. So, we're out of uh, sight. Back to the actual test, which is the white... Uh, the white stag. Should be around here. My mouse uh, seems to be a bit over eager. Believe it or not, I pressed the button. Good, fixed the issue. If you ever find yourself buying a razor mouse, you tend to have uh, this typical problem of double mouse uh, click on with the left uh, uh, mouse button. Even if you're not double clicking it, just the fact that you're holding it, the key begins to stutter. So I'm not sponsored by Logitech or anything, but I would advise you to think twice if you want to go with uh, Razer.
we could be done with a quest already. The stack just despawn randomly. <sighs> well met. It took a while and wasn't the cleanest kill. Well met, Hunter. Are you his scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. What would you Fury ask of me? Is precious to me? I will make good use of it. You bear my ring. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. It shall be done, yes, yes. My hunter, there are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. Good. Begin the uh, the hunt. We are officially ready for a hunt. See you at the start. Right, we find ourselves in Bloated Men's uh, Grotto. Time to take out the big arrows. A few that we do have left. Dwarven sounds good. Has the Blood Moon called you, fellow hunter? What happened here? Stronger than the hunters, but more will come. Bring him down for the glories of Lord Hirsin. Well, you shouldn't have come here alone, dude. Whilst I'm saying that, I fully appreciate that we're coming here alone. Loading silver arrows, as they help. And deal extra damage against werewolves. Just realized that actually we're fighting only against the werewolf. You, why? Never thought I'd see, and I would just. I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Bursing is too powerful. You spare me. I can be a powerful ally to you. No. Nope. I would promise to never return to civilized life. Nope. I know now that I can't live among people. You have to die. So be it. Well, let's be careful. We don't want to get hit by him. But we also don't want the others to kill him first.
There we go. Well, we could take that and you've done well, Hunter. I did ask you yes. and found my favor. That skin will serve you well, child. Look more closely at it. My glory shall protect you from all this world's grievances. Good hunting. Very well, so one of the fastest quests uh, there is. We got the Savior's Hide. Which also gives us a bit of... Uh, not going to say it, but... Oh boy. Shit. A nightlife-ish look is potentially the right way of putting this. Yeah. Okay, well. Let's play first person. What I was about to say is the height is quite helpful. 100% disease resistance. Magic resist 25, poison resist also 100%, so they left that unchanged. We're at 61 with uh, the height, which is exactly what uh, we wanted. The height itself with a weight of 20 is definitely, definitely heavier than the shrouded armor. which we're wearing for now just so that we can carry everything home. Gosh, we're completely overloaded. I hate to leave decent potions behind. Yeah, we'll need to find a way of transporting all of uh, this. Yeah, much easier. We'll take the potions with us. I'll take the sword another day. So, I should, by the way, get a mod that allows me to keep, like, one final look whilst at the same uh, time wearing different clothes. Yeah, from a monetary standpoint, just packing all of this stuff up is helpful. Good, we're done here. We got uh, the hide, which was a huge uh, benefit for us overall. Need to go into this direction. So with the hide, let's just double check that real quick. 60% right. We're at 600 armor. That's really helpful. Yeah, 230 armor. That is good even more armor than uh, the shroud so the 30 bonus armor for wearing that entire set um, are essentially inside of savior's hide here we do have a couple of smaller uh, stuff here 
stamina 50, immune to most slow effects, also health is increased. So I would even make an argumentation that outside of fighting mages, we're okay with that set. But the savior's height is definitely uh, for a mage battle the better alternative. Which neatly brings us to, speaking about which, the next dungeon that we want to do, because I promised you we want to get an a bow upgrade. We got proper magic resist. Just need to um, just need to uh, approach it the right way, but we could cap out on magic resistance. Um, the next uh, stuff uh, stop now is getting a proper bow. I need to fill up some potions and uh, create a few. So uh, let me do that. Specifically, magic resist will be important. What is happening? No, no, don't steal the horse. No, don't steal the horse. Does that sound like we're having a dragon nearby? No. Okay, well, anyways, back to making potions. I'll be back afterwards. Hey, we are at Sunderstone Gorge, where we are getting, hopefully, our uh, bow. Well, that should help us for quite a while. With our shout and our equipment, should be fine. Have loaded Orcish arrows, just got a stab of ice spheres. We're going to go in with some higher quality poison that I... Used to do a bit earlier. Okay, and off we go. Let's hope uh, that we are sufficiently protected. We're drinking resist magic. Oh, I forgot we did have skellies in here. Of course. We're dealing with necromancers at the end of the day. sure if our normal arrows will be good enough for these guys. Uh, let's change arrows to Orcish again. That just, a guy just killed himself. Dogo does what Dogo is supposed to do, which is blocking. Thankfully, our sneak, thanks to the armor so decent that we really are muffled throughout the whole time she hasn't 
uh, s uh, spotted us out we were able to go in without triggering a lot plus they ran into that trap I like the staff of fireballs better than the staff of ice spheres so we'll exchange that Oh, that would have been really painful if we had to fight these guys. slowly but surely getting the hang of it they couldn't even get the healing potions off back to orcish arrows we can hold the string without any problem stamina regeneration is finally high enough This is exactly why you wouldn't want to deal with the mages in the first place. It's another pyromancer. And given that we know there is a pyromancer, let's get our fire resist up. Okay, we still have an enemy somewhere near. Yeah, we certainly can't pick Master. What am I even thinking? Resist magic, getting it almost up to maximum level. This is a nice time slow. And we're still hidden. <laughs> Much easier than I would have expected. Uh, 
A fresh staff of fireball, surpassing potion of healing. Holy shit, that is good. Reapplying our. Joffrey gets rid of one of uh, the staffs of fireball, or reapplying our poison, because that worked wonders. Uh, yes, stay stuff of flame atronog. Oh, damn, yeah. I think we leave the staff of fireballs for now. I don't want to be like heavily overloaded. But this is going to be one of our favorites, and this is one of my favorites the spectral bow. Super cool weapon. So let's take a look. We got uh, the Spectral Bow uh, with very low uh, weight, absorbs vitality from the uh, vitality from the target. We have a really decent upgrade from the hunting bow. Just double checking here. Yeah, full speed. Use a couple of low quality arrows, just double checking. Fast draw speed as well. Damn it, we are online. This one is uh, very valuable, might as well take it. A bit of that as well. And a bit of that. Uh, how are we doing food wise? I would say okay. That can be sold, that can be sold. That's very valuable, decently valuable. Necklace of the Firewalker, I think that's the resist necklace. Oh yeah, 50%. Uh, yeah, pretty damn good. Well, the next time that we fight a fire dragon or something alike, 50% will go a long way. Good, overall super good dungeon. I can highly recommend it. If you don't get yourself killed. We just need a lot of magic resistance in order to go through this. Um, okay, now that we're done here. Let's take a look. I still haven't used Unrelenting Force a lot. To be honest, no one came closest. Um, so I wanted to go with Smithing and get that all the way to 60, actually. Almost there. I will get it there in between the sessions and put the perks in uh, in it i'll just hunt a couple of undeads um in between 
what else do we need? I think there is a good, uh, there can be a good argument made for getting evasion further up. There definitely can be a good argument made for it. More health. We're okay on stamina, there is no need for that anymore. And the two perks I would like to invest into smithing. One is here for advanced blacksmithing and in two points we'll get the arcane craftsman. That'll allow us to upgrade uh, some of our armor, but even more important, we will be able to craft elemental bolts and arrows. That'll be a game changer for AOE damage. And I think overall, We are pretty much ready uh, to take on uh, the the challenge that we set for this character. Equipment-wise, we do have a really solid base equipment, I would say. The Ancient Shroud plus the Resist uh, Ring of Magic is okay. We got ourselves um, some extra armor, which I still would argue others will potentially be of different opinion, but it feels like we're dealing way enough damage it's now more a matter of um, not getting killed so having that extra 150 armor goes a long way and even if we upgrade the shroud just a little bit more uh, that plus an armor potion would be uh, giving us a really solid armor class so i think we're fine kind soaking definitely is a good alternative if we re really need damage something like um, needing to kill a dragon where where we do not want to go into melee um, regardless so that's fine we do have really lightweight equipment i feel we are okay on the potion uh, side i have all of the necessary uh, potions we even got a couple of scrolls that we could use more importantly we got a uh, staff of flame matronach which potentially will be um, what we are using here and there and yeah i could uh, do i could sell the stuff for a little bit more money we got two decent bows uh, certainly not like high high end bows um, i would definitely be, uh, see an option to upgrade our um, heavy bow for zephyr but that is in the middle of a draugr dungeon um not not Drago dungeon, um, Falmer dungeon, dwarf dungeon, uh, within uh, enchanted spheres and so on. So it's really m more tier two content in between level twenty and thirty thirty five. Uh, so nothing that we need to do right now. We got ourselves high scenes armor um, as an alternative. This set here is a bit easier to play through because it uh, weighs less. I can loot more and I do have more um, more. Uh, um, uh, more carry weight um, and overall the stats are fine I mean we're uh, rocking solid 260 hit points which isn't bad at all uh, good armor uh, really good magic and poison resist and uh, really decent uh, really decent armor as well so uh, the build is great I just need a little bit more um, smithing to upgrade it further Next episode will be potentially the last one in the Diaries of Death Tier 1 uh, for Chauffre. He has done uh, most of his job. He just needs to save Whiterun and uh, then likely is finishing his Tier 1 and um, has survived. So that's not that's not a bad story for a ranger from Falkreath. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still have one more episode to go. There is plenty of chance to die. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to bull eye uh, the uh, like button, uh, try to see how well you can snipe that with your mouse cursor. It's always a good challenge to do that. Thanks, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.